Oh, absolutely. Um, this was a, uh, a high-quality Big Ten game. You know, a lot of lead changes. Um, you look at the box score. Both teams led for a considerable amount of time throughout the course of the ball game. Um, for us, it was a complete team win. We got contributions across the board from a lot of guys. Um, as a staff, we're extremely um, happy and, and proud of the group for their, their effort and their, uh, their grit to find a way to, to come away from a win. Um, you know, with or without Kofi, you know, that is a very talented basketball team. And um, they've got veterans, they've great, great shooters, um, and they're going to be a tough out as they continue to move forward. But love the way we played. Um, EGBs for us, energy generating behaviors were things that we try to hang our hat on. And we got some of those down the stretch, offensive rebounds, deflections, steals. I thought Dante was terrific um, scoring the basketball, getting to a spot. Um, and just across the board, we got contribution from everyone that played in some way, shape, or fashion. I thought Q got us off to a good start with his offensive rebounds and finishes at the rim. Julian came in. We were able to switch our defenses at the end of the game. We switched one through five, and he was able to sit down and stay in front of guards. Eric made some plays. Hawk made some plays. Fats led us in rebounding. So just across the board, this is just a terrific team win. Xavier was outstanding coming in, trying to slow Plummer down a little bit. Questions? Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Um, what was the reasoning to have Dante start on the bench? And if, if there was any intent to send a message, uh, how did he react to that? Well, just across the board, it's, it's our job as a staff to, to challenge our guys to, to not only do well off the court as well as on the court. And it's just a, we want you to do better. We expect better across the board in a lot of different areas from a lot of different guys. And, uh, you know, you've seen different lineup changes, and that's been the thought process from everybody, just challenging everyone to give us a little bit more. And, um, you know, Dante responded and um, gave us a, a really, really good game today. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, just what, what is your takeaway from the team's defensive effort down the stretch? I believe you guys limited them to, like, two of, ten, two of their last ten shots in, in the second half. I thought our guys were locked in defensively. You know, we, we sat down. We were changing our coverages based on the time left in the ball game and, and the situation. Guards did a good job of switching and not allowing any slips in between, if you will. And then when we switched with our big guys, particularly with Julian, he was able to sit down and stay in front of the basketball on the perimeter. So the guys just stayed locked in, and um, everyone was in a stance. We were talking, communicating, and um, it, it, it looked really good from, from our point of view. Um, I have to go back and watch film. I'm sure there are a couple breakdowns, but I think all in all, it was, it was a pretty good showing for us. Uh, Danny, uh, for as much as you've emphasized getting to the foul line and getting the ball in the paint, for Dante to have done as much work as he did inside and draw six fouls, how encouraging is that? And is that part of the message that you had been sending and would receive? Well, uh, you know, Dante is a terrific basketball player, and his skill set allows him to do a lot of different things out on the court. Um, but I, I think this type of game for him is what we – would like to see from the standpoint of, you know, he made some three-pointers, you know, stretched the defense out, but he also um, put the ball on the deck, got to the rim, drew fouls, and put them in tough situations. You know, they had to make some decisions down the stretch of whether they're going to come double-team him and, um, you know, make decisions from there. And then from there, we just become basketball players. And um, our guys made really good decisions with the basketball down the stretch for the most part, shared it very well, and we made some timely shots. Uh, hey, Coach. First, we saw uh, Q leave a couple minutes early. Uh, it seemed like he had an injury with his hand. I was just curious, do you have any update on that? Uh, no, I don't. Um, he was able to go. He he was available. Um, but at that point in time, I just liked the rotation, how things were going. So if we needed to put him back in, could have put him back in. And secondly, kind of talking about his performance, you mentioned him scoring a little bit early on there. Um, it seemed like there was more success with players driving to the basket and then finding him open. But that's something you felt uh, – 
how did you feel that, that uh, strategy was working for you today as opposed to other games? Well, a lot of times we have Q and Julian in our big set ball screens, and our guards are able to get downhill, get into the paint. And, you know, it's, it's the guard's job at that point, if you're going to shoot the basketball, to not let your shot get blocked. Because most of the time, once those guards get downhill, their man is on their hip. The big man is in front of them contesting at the rim. So if they don't make the shot, it puts our bigs in a pretty good position to get an offensive rebound. And Q did a terrific job of cleaning those up early on. As we emphasize that every game. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, we want paint touches. We want to be the first team to the bonus. And we were able to execute and, and do that today. Danny, it's one thing for the guys in the locker room to trust the process. What does a win like tonight do for to, uh, validation as far as, you know, the fruits of seeing the fruits of their labor this evening? Well, you know, wins are hard to come by regardless of whatever league you play in or where you play. And so this is something where you enjoy it tonight, and then we got to come back tomorrow, and we got 12 more. And the most important one is the next one, and that's our mindset. You know, our mindset going into the game is we want to play tip to horn one possession at a time. And now we carry that over into the next game. So um, you enjoy wins, you, and, and you celebrate them to a certain extent because they are hard to come by. And then you, we come back in here tomorrow and, um, you know, the next day and, and start getting our game plan implemented and getting ready to go get another win. Coach, Alfonso Plummer had a um, big first half, only four points in that second half. What were some of the adjustments at halftime you guys made and some of those keys to shutting him down in that second half? He might have got tired. He was wearing us out in the first half, right? <laughs> He's a talented player. He made shots. We try to throw different bodies at him, put longer guys on him, um, stay attached to him a little bit more. And, you know, I thought our guys did a really good job of understanding that he was a big reason for their success in that first half because of, you know, he made some tough shots too. I mean, we played good defense, and he just elevated up and made some tough shots. But that happens once you get it going. So it's really – you know, the, mind, the mindset is to try not to let a great shooter like that get it going. But he got it going, and, you know, we just tried to throw different bodies at him and make him work. And then also we wanted to uh, make him guard on the other end, you know, make him navigate guarding ball screens and cross picks and things of that nature. We try to, you know, put a few hits on his body just to slow him down. Coach, I just want to um, talk back – Go back to talking about Julian Reese. Uh, he had a pair of three-pointers uh, tonight, had a pair against Michigan. I was, I was wondering, what is his ceiling when he can knock those shots down at a consistent, at a consistent rate? Um, you know, Julian is a very um, talented and special player. You know, I think all of us can, can agree to that. I think he's just scratching the surface of how good he's going to be. You know, he's got to continue to work and, and get stronger. And, and obviously, the more games he plays, the more experience he has. He's skilled. You know, we've, we've seen him knock down three-pointers. We've seen him drive the basketball and throw backdoor passes. Uh, we've seen him contest shots at the rim, play good interior post defense. And he just, he just started to figure it out. He's a baby at the end of the day. He's a freshman, and he's just learning what Big Ten play is about. But, you know, Julian goes out, and he's a sponge every day in practice. He always comes in with a good attitude, and he competes at a high level. Thank you.